right, so I wanted to make sure we go over things like uh, creating plots and then also creating reports. And so I'm going to focus with regard to creating reports here. I'm going to focus less on exporting things to Word because we already have learned about rendering files in Markdown. And so, you know, we get those automatic rich text format files right out of there or PDF or HTML. Um, that I feel like you have probably the best tool at your disposal at this point. What I'd like to focus on at first is maybe other kinds of formatting issues you might encounter, especially for those of you going on to write research papers. Um, I think this is really important. So I'll talk a little bit about LaTeX for those of you more from engineering, math, stat world. And then I'll also talk about just getting tables in rich text format for those of you more from other disciplines where you're not um, heavy LaTeX users for creating professional reports. So the first one I've been using a lot, let me get to the top of this. I, I copy just the help file because when I use this, it looks really, really messy. I'll be honest in my own code. So I just use some nice, clean looking help files to get this all together. But this package called TextReg, you can see the name right there in the help file, is really, really useful. I, I recently was creating um, uh, some output for a paper and I'm collaborating with some folks in education and uh, sociology and some other fields and they don't like LaTeX. So I never use LaTeX when I collaborate with people um, in those disciplines. And I, I was really struggling getting I didn't want to cause our graduate student to have to just spend hours taking all of these model results and putting them into a table. And I discovered this package, TexReg, that saved, I think, our, our student a lot of headaches and looks way better than a table produced in Microsoft Word, honestly. So I want to show you how to use that here. And then I'll also show you how you can also use TextReg to actually automatically generate your tables for LaTeX, which I love because I hate typing that all out in LaTeX. But once you get it set, you can even tweak it. And I've done that before. So if you want to add a line here or there, you know, a horizontal line, H line, anything like that, you can add that to your LaTeX commands. But I'll show you how you just copy and paste and it's so easy. OK, so first we need to just create some mock data. So this is going to estimate. Notice we've got two models, M1, M2. We might want to compare those. Don't worry too much about the data. This is just some example data. Meaningless observations here. This creates a grouping factor. So you can see group is just control, 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 10 of those, um, then treatment. This GL, just that function just creates a grouping variable um, factor. Um, and it's saying there's going to be two levels, 10 of each, so 20 total. That's all that says. So now we have M1 and M2. So we could take a look. If you just printed M1, you could copy and paste this, you know, and maybe you do that in your um, right now and copy and paste that to a Word file. That's fine. And, you know, in Markdown, it'll print it to your Word file directly, but it doesn't look pretty and it's not easy to transfer to a nice table. That's the problem, okay? So um, instead, there's this package in TextReg where we can actually create a nice looking table. Oh, maybe I need to load this still. Let's take a look. I think I've been running so many other things. There we go. Uh, we can create a nice looking table that compares model one to model two. This one's gonna be a lot easier to compare. Notice it also gives you the model comparisons. One fits really good, one fits not so good. Um, the uh, mean square error and all that. Um, here, this is the same output. It's just that um, here we get, uh, what did we get? Oh, it's just the same output. I don't remember. Um, but that looks really, really nice. Here's another option. Using this, by the way, this is making reference. I'll post this code, but this is just making reference to the user manual. So you can go back and look at the examples. Now you can see here's it all laid out for a LaTeX file. So notice how we're using all the typical commands for creating a table. Um, we're using the multi-column function or uh, yeah, function within LaTeX to create a 
two column or three column table actually. And um, then everything gets closed up, it gets a caption, so forth. It's really, really nice. Uh, oh, I never got this to work. I have to pull that out. I was trying to extend it by using like least squares means or something. It's apparently not extended to that right now. You can actually use TextRag and I think you can make it extensible, but extendable, but um, I'm not going to mess with that right now. I'll just get you um, familiar with the basic idea here. Here's something more. You can create my table here. This is going to, um, well, just come over here, save your results so that you can actually um, output them and then you have them dropped like in a tech file uh, directly into your folder. So that's another option. Finally, let's see. Here it's just showing you can use something like a, a, a different uh, nonlinear model here. It has kind of an interesting correlation, an AR1 correlation structure for the model um, and other components that are a little more sophisticated. Um, oh, finally, here we go. Let's, let's actually save that file or that model. Okay, so by the way, here's M3, and this is this is what it looks like. Um, it's a different class of model. So of course, you know, we've learned in this since this is an object oriented oriented programming language. When we create like a linear model, like we did above, versus this um, general generalized linear model, we um, have a different class and so no, notice because it's a different class the outputs printed out differently everything looks a little bit different but what we can do is create a, a table directly let me make sure where i have my working directory right now so i know where this is going to be printed okay so i have it going to my code file that's fine and we can rent run that code and notice it just gives you a message saying my table dot doc was created so now if we go over here you can see my table was created there and there we get something even better i think so it does the side-by-side -side model comparisons that we saw just a moment ago but it puts it in an already nicely formatted notice this is very much like what most journals require in terms of horizontal only lines um, and you can change it, of course. Um, you've got all the options now to look at the design. Um, you can change that to whatever you want within Word, but everything's there. Um, you want to avoid typing, copying and typing when you create these tables because we know we have not made a mistake, entered any values incorrectly. So this is just the way to go. Okay, so I think that'll do it. If you get this code, of course, there's a lot of other examples because I just took this directly from the, the um, uh, help file. Here you can get confidence intervals, which I highly recommend including. I don't like p-values reported only. You really need to give a, a effect size estimate like a confidence interval. Um, so a, a lot of examples. You can go through for your next paper, find what's going to work for you. A little bit more um, here. There's another package called WordR. I don't like it very much because I just feel like Markdown is so much more accessible. Um, but what's nice about this package is you can actually um, create files again directly into Word. Maybe at times they look a little bit better. I'll post this code too and you can run through it. It uses the, um, uh, let's see, the empty cars data set. So you can actually, let me see if I can still get this to run. It's been a while since I looked at it. Ah, there we go. So there we've got a LaTeX table of our um, means, mins, summary statistics for the um, various gears um, and reporting on the miles per gallon. So that's another option for you. 
Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. I kind of covered model output, which most of the time is what you've got, but also the table output here. Um, by the way, TextReg really only works as far as I know for model output. So that's one of the downsides. I would use um, Xtable package, which I didn't actually create a example for, but I would use the Xtable package for creating um, um, tables also for output and papers. That's another one to look into. It's just the letter X. Let me type it out here. Show you the package X table. I've used that one in the past too. You can export to LaTeX or HTML for that. Um, Flex table, I don't, I've tried it out, but I didn't like it very much to tell you the truth. Um, I think I have maybe one file that uses flex table, but I'm not going to focus in on that. I found it really unwieldy and it just created way too much output. I did not care for that. Um, this is probably a better way to go for most of us. Okay, so next uh, comes graphics.